Hello, my name is Mark Babbitt, and I'm sitting here with my friend and co-author, Chris Edmonds. Uh, Good Comes First, Chris, is coming out very soon. It's coming out very soon. We could not be more excited. We've been thinking about this stuff for 30 years each and been writing this book for three years. So we've been very, very attuned to how we can create a tool, a resource, actionable insights for leaders to be able to create a work culture where their team members, their associates, their employees are respected, validated, and honored. One of my favorite sections of the book, toward the end of the book, we talk about not just what it takes for leaders to become change champions, but how to build a team that will support, live, model a good comes first culture. And the reality is this is not always an easy process and it takes months and years to to actually execute. But one one of the criteria that we talk about is attrition is your best friend. And not everybody's going to thrive within a good comes first culture let as you say lovingly let set them free let let them go work somewhere else where it's okay. where it's okay just to collect a paycheck where integrity doesn't matter where values aren't 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 monitored measured and and certainly where respect isn't on the same pedestal as as results and let them go work somewhere else but that's not what you want in a good comes first culture yep. in a the premise of a good comes first culture is good people doing good work in a good place to work. And and when we get to that foundation and everybody, you know, when they get off the train, when they when they slam the, the car door shut, you know, as, as they as they walk from the parking lot to the Turn front on door. their first Zoom meeting. <laughs> and, and, or, or they're at home and they, yeah. you know, they, they're still in their gym shorts, but they put on a dress shirt to get on their first Zoom meeting. Then, then they're actually engaged. They're already engaged because they know they're part of that team doing good work. Yep. They're, they're a good person doing good work in a good company, and they're excited to be there. They're not just collecting a paycheck. And and when we get leaders to think of company culture in that way, again, good people doing good work in a good company, then it changes everything. Everything changes from, well, we're a little bit behind in sales, so we're going to do whatever it takes to make that up, even if it's not integrity-based. Now you have to sit back and go, wait a minute, is that what... A, a good person would do in a good company and a good culture? No, the answer is no. So yes, we're gonna take our lumps this time, but for, for this short term, but long term, our goal is to build that good comes first culture where we wouldn't disrespect each other by just making the books look a little bit better. Well, and and, and I'm, I'm so taken by some of the experiences we've had, the conversations we've had with leaders where where I've had a senior leader literally demonstrate such anger at a player on the leadership team that that she said his performance, he drives performance, the sales team is doing great. In this case, that was the, the division. But I can't trust anything this guy says because the next day I find that's not truthful, that that's not honest, that that's not the full story. So literally, it's an issue of high performance, low values. And I said, how much time and energy have you spent on, on this relationship over the, you know, how long has this guy been here? 10 years. And have there been good times? Have there been validating times? Not enough, she said, not enough. And it, it begins to allow leaders to say, if we're gonna have this literal team that is of one heart, one mind, one voice, on these are our goals, these are our customers, these are our values. If you have outliers who are demonstrating that they don't buy into the values, that's okay. Lovingly set them free. And as you begin to do that, you're gonna get these wonder, it's very interesting, and it can take months for people to get up the nerve to say, I appreciate what you've been doing to change our culture. That could be two months later. But if employees go into that workplace, be it remote, be it in a restaurant, be it in a hotel, be it in an office, and they don't have to be on guard, they're not waiting for the next strike about the head and shoulders with somebody's two by four. All of a sudden now you're getting to the best and the best ideas and the best teamwork and the best willingness to go beyond. That's what 
younger generations are going to be attracted to. That's what I was attracted to, as I, and I'm way old. But I followed great bosses, and if I didn't have a great boss, I got out as soon as I could. And so, not everybody can do that. That's a hard. That's a hard place to go. Um, but if you can establish that aligned team, there's nothing better. Learn more about Chris and Mark's new book and purchase your copy at goodcomesfirst.com.